Let's take a look at how you can customize the care advice in any protocol to match the policies and preferences of your care team. As an example, we're going to modify the care advice in the COLDS protocol. So look at the reasons to call back. And let's say that your care team feels that the parent should call back if the cough lasts over two weeks rather than over three weeks. And let's say that your care team also wants an additional reason to call back. They want the triage nurse to specifically tell the parent to call back if there are any signs of respiratory distress and to go through those, such as wheezing and retractions and so on. Finally, let's say that your care team also wants an additional topic that talks about elevating the child's head while they're sleeping. So we're going to make all of those changes to the care advice in the COLDS protocol. You'll start by clicking on your name in the top right corner and choosing Customization. You'll then need to sign in with your administrative email address and password. If you don't know how to do this, please watch our other training video that talks about setting up your administrator account. I want to customize the COLD protocol, so I'll click on Protocols, and then I'll type COLD in the search box and select COLDs, and then I want to edit the care advice. Here is all of the care advice we were looking at. I'm going to scroll down and get to the topic on the reasons to call back. And I want to edit that topic. So I'll click on the pencil and I can change the cough lasts over three weeks. I can change that three to a two. And simply by typing in the blank line at the bottom, I can add a line of care advice here that says signs of respiratory distress, such as wheezing or retractions. I've made those changes. So I'll press save. And then I want to add a topic. And the title of the topic I'm going to add is Elevate Head While Sleeping. And then I will type the actual advice that I want the triage nurse to give. And I will save that new topic. I have a confirmation dialog, which tells me that this is going to be added near the bottom of this section of care advice. I may want this topic higher, so I can click on the arrows to move it up or I can drag to move it to a specific position. So maybe I want it underneath the advice about the humidifier. And in fact, maybe my practice wants to recommend the humidifier also while sleeping. So I can edit this topic, and this time I can edit the title. So I've edited the title of a topic, I've added a topic, and I've edited details within a topic. You'll notice that when I hover over that little edited badge, it tells me to click to see the original. And I can click on that and see the original advice by Dr. Schmidt. I've made all the changes I want now, so I'll click on Save Changes. The confirmation dialog tells me that if I save this protocol, all of my triage nurses will now see and use the new protocol. That's what I want, so I'll click on Save and Publish. And then I'll go back to Clear Triage. We'll find the colds protocol and go to the care advice. And you'll see that in the reasons to call back, I now have cough lasts over two weeks and I have the signs of respiratory distress. And higher up, I have the humidifier while sleeping advice and I have the new topic I added, elevate head while sleeping. So we've seen so far how to add topics and how to edit topics. You can also delete individual elements of care advice or delete entire topics. Let's see how that works. For this example, I want to look at the strep exposure protocol. In my hypothetical practice, the providers want to always recommend ibuprofen rather than acetaminophen for pain medication for that severe sore throat pain. So I want to change the advice under pain medicine to reflect that. Also, this protocol has extra advice about the possible physician option for calling in a prescription for antibiotics for a household contact who is having strep symptoms. In my hypothetical practice, the providers don't want to do that. They want to see anyone with those strep symptoms. So I want to get rid of this entire care advice topic. To make these changes, I'll go to customization and click on protocols and find the strep exposure protocol. Click on Edit Care Advice. And so I want to edit the pain medicine topic. I will change this line to say, give ibuprofen for severe throat discomfort. 
and I will delete the line underneath it by clicking on the trash can. Next, I'll scroll down to the extra advice, and I'll delete that entire topic because it doesn't pertain to my practice. I can save those changes, and again, I will save and publish those. So now I have deleted a topic of care advice, and I've deleted individual care advice within a topic. Before we go back and see those changes, I want to show you how you can revert a change that you've made to the care advice. So if I click on the colds protocol that we just modified before this, I can see the button here that lets me revert to the original. And in the video on editing questions, we looked at how we could revert the entire protocol back to the original protocol as written by Dr. Schmidt or Dr. Thompson. In this case, I'm going to edit the care advice. I'll scroll down to the reasons to call back. And again, if I click on that edited badge, I can see what the original reasons to call back were. And let's say that my clinical team has now decided that they want to go back to those original reasons to call back. I can select edit topic. And now I have a button here to revert to the original. And now I can save changes to the protocol and publish those. Let's go back to clear triage, and we'll look at both changes that we just made. So if I bring up the strep exposure protocol and click on care advice, I can see that in the pain medicine topic, there's only the recommendation to give ibuprofen, and that below reasons to call back, there's no longer the extra advice about a physician calling in a prescription. And if I go to the colds protocol and click on care advice there, I'll see that I've gone back to the original reasons to call back, which includes cough lasting for three weeks. So we've seen in this video the different changes you can make to the care advice. You can edit the topics, either by editing the title of the topic or editing the individual lines of care advice. You can add an individual line. You can even add an entire topic. You can also hide individual lines of care advice, or you could hide entire topics. These changes allow you to adjust the care advice written by Dr. Schmidt and Dr. Thompson to match the policies and preferences of your care team. And keep in mind that Dr. Schmidt and Dr. Thompson annually update their protocols, including the care advice, based on changes in national guidelines, new evidence, or feedback from triage nurses and call centers around the world. So each year when their updates become available within Clear Triage, you're going to need to check your care advice customizations to make sure they still make sense given the changes that Dr. Schmidt and Dr. Thompson have made. Because of that, you're going to want to limit your changes to the ones that are truly important to your organization. But we hope you find it easy to make those changes. And if you have any problems while you're trying to customize the care advice in a protocol, please don't hesitate to email or call us at Clear Triage.